Hello everyone. I posted a few Gemini Meteor Shower time lapse videos recently and I had a question about the best setting on the GoPro Hero 4 to use for that. And so I thought I would go over that with you very quickly to help you in your uh, night lapse photography of, of meteor showers or other uh, night events. So I'm going to cut the Hero 4 on and I'm going to flip it around and use the um, LCD back on on this particular camera, it's a lot easier to see uh, on video. So I'm going to you know, slide this screen down and we're going to go to the left here. And you'll see the settings here. If you don't have this back, it'll be a little different, but it'll help you to understand exactly which settings to use and better visualize them. So you're going to go to the time lapse feature and then you're going to um, go to the mode and choose night lapse. And then once it's in night lapse, you're going to choose 30 seconds is optimal. You could use uh, a lower setting on the shutter speed, but you really need to get as much uh, light captured as possible. So we're going to use 30 seconds uh, in continuous mode. And of course, the high setting on the megapixel. Spot meter off. Uh, protein. Protein is on. And I like to use it at 3000K. That makes it a little cooler as far as the imagery goes. Uh, you can choose a different setting if you'd like. If you'd like to go up to 5500 or more, it's really personal preference. And uh, you may be doing some post-processing or grading of the video anyway. Uh, so I'm going to stick with 3000K. I'm going to use the ISO of 800. Again, you can play with that just a little bit, uh, depending on whether, what kind of grain you're happy with getting on your final image. And sharpness at high, and really everything else I'm going to leave alone. So just to recap that, we're going to have this in night lapse mode. We're going to have the shutter at 30 seconds for optimal light capture. Uh, we're going to do it in continuous interval at the highest megapixel we have. Spot meter off. Protune on. And I like to shoot it at about 3000K. Uh, gives it a nice cool night look to me. The ISO limit, we're going to uh, leave it about 800. Sharpness on high. And everything else we're going to just leave alone. Once you have all those settings in place, you're ready just to go. And so you're simply going to just um, you know, turn it over and start filming. And what it's doing now is it's taking a long 30 second exposure of me. And uh, we don't wanna see that. It's gonna be blurry because I don't have it on the tripod, which is of course one of the biggest keys to anything you're doing with this type of photography with the end result of a video is if you don't have it on a tripod, you really, uh, you'll, you'll get a very interesting blurred effect, which is probably not what you're looking for. With those settings, you should be able to have a, a very nice time-lapse video. Keep it away from the light, shoot as long as you can. Uh, even the smallest light will show up in a very bright and dominant on a, a night-lapse video like this. So make sure you're in complete darkness, pointed away from any city lights or uh, street lamps. Uh, and just get as, as uh, clear a view of the sky without obstructions as possible. So that's it. I hope this helps you get some great meteor shower and nighttime images with your GoPro Hero 4. And uh, good shooting. Thanks for watching.